What's up dudes? Today we're eating some hearth and fire pizza from Canada. Also, before we start the episode, I want to give a shout out, he does too, to Caitlin Harper, uh, $15 a month on Patreon. We love Caitlin. She's the greatest. Start the montage. Got today, Mr. Sean. Today we got a beautiful little can from Alarmist Brewing. This is a pint of beer. Crispy Boy Pilsner. I love the name of it. Crispy Boy. The Crispy Boy. 4.9% alcohol by volume. And this is made in Chicago, Illinois on Peterson Avenue. You gotta love Alarmist. I love the can. I like the gold. This almost looks like something we would design. Yeah, it does. That's how good nice it and is. Crisp and flat. It's very matte. Yeah, so that, very matte. So that's what we're gonna um, drink today. Uh, with kind of like, we don't really chew for that part, but there is a part we do chew. What are we chewing on today? Today we got Hearth and Fire. We told you about it in the intro. This is their The Pepperoni. Flame Fired that? Crust. Apparently this is a Canadian pizza that Sean stumbled upon and picked up for the show. Oh, you don't say. 400 degrees that we heated this bad boy up for about 20 minutes. It's got two different types of pepperonis, the circles and the little rectangle cubies. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to try it. I was saying off camera, this almost looks like an old school Pizza Hut 90s pan pizza. Like the pepperonis, like the, type the of thing bill. To say while, while we're eating. Probably. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I was still on visuals. Now it's my tongue. All right, here we go. Hearth and fire for the first time. We've never had this kind of pizza before. It's new. Cheers. Cheers. We're on fire with our frozen pizzas. Really know how to pick them. Great pepperoni, loaded up. Now, I don't think I've said this before, but this kind of reminds me of a 90s a Pizza Hut pizza. It does. <laughs> it's really not bad at all. It kind of reminds me of a mm. thinner DiGiorno. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love the two styles of pepperonis. And they're like, there's a couple that are really crisped up. Ooh, Try like just that. Yeah. I, I, I just had one like that, it was good as hell. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right, so let me lay this one on you guys. You like prices of stuff? This at Mariano's, which is like a Kroger, which is like not the bottom tier grocery store, but definitely got like kind of middle tier. Mariano's? Yeah. That shows how poor I am. I thought that was top tier. They well, it's not Whole Foods. They have, a, they have a spot in your grocery carts for wine glasses to fit in, so you can get one at the at the bar that they have there, no. which usually has a piano next to it. All right, maybe. <laughs> You Maybe it's up upper middle class. Anyways, yeah. what was I getting at? Oh, this pizza is twelve dollars and ninety nine cents. Okay, that's so I just wanted to know like the price, you know, for what that was. So you're paying a little more for this. This is loaded. I know. I got a question for you. Do you think there's too much pepperoni on here? I got a little overpowered with the flavor. I I see what you're saying. I almost feel bad saying yes because I'm like, you know what? For that price, I'll take it off. Like I kind of don't mind that like it's overdone. <laughs> but I get what you're saying. Yeah, because how much you say it says? Thirteen bucks. Oh, that's a lot. But it is. The pepperoni. And imported from Canada. Surprised it doesn't come with a little sidecar of maple syrup. Yeah, right? Ooh, that might be interesting on a pizza. Yeah, like instead of honey, mm -hmm. maple syrup. Damn, maybe that would be. Are we geniuses? Do you have any syrup? <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we get the Eric McCluskey drum roll, please, we're gonna break down this pizza, let you know what we each think of it before we give our scores. Corey, you're up first. I think this tastes really good. I really like the pepperonis. I don't think that it tastes just, it's not, the price is not justified in my opinion, because I've had, I think, cheaper pizzas that are a little bit better. Yeah, this didn't stand out enough to me from other things to justify the price. Mm -hmm. Kind of blindfolded, I think it would maybe be like if Red Baron and DiGiorno had a baby. It would be this wow. pizza. That's not that glowing of a... No, it's not. Know. It's good. It's good, but it's not like... It doesn't stand out. No, so many I of agree. them are like the same thing probably made in the same factory. Yeah. Different yeah, yeah. branding. Yep. Um, all right. On that note, Eric McCluskey, drum roll please. Thank you, sir. All right, Sixers. Thumbs up or thumbs down on whether or not we liked and enjoyed it, but should you guys spend 13 bones on it? Are you ready, Corey? I'm ready. Let's go. Oh! Oh! Really just the price you got me. Price. But, um, price. you know, you guys heard us talk about it. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share it if you can. And uh, also, don't forget to answer the question down below in the comment section so we can have a little hangout space. What else, if you're a Canadian fan, what else is Canada hiding from us? I want to know the brands. I want to know what we should try. I want to know what we're missing out on. Like a poutine Tim Hortons coffee. Yeah, and if you're from America, 
Comment um, how much you love Sean's new, uh, the sweatshirt, the number 60G sweatshirt. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you very soon for a new episode. Cheers to the weekend. Sure! I'll have a drink. Good pepperoni.